Hey everybody, uh, I finally got around to doing this. This is a review of the two products by Goal Zero. Uh, the one you see here, this is the Lighthouse 250, and this is the Torch 250. Um, basically, they are lights, you know, for emergency or camping or what have you. Uh, first off, let's put that aside. This is the torch or not excuse me torch but this is the lighthouse 250 um a little obvious here you got a little crank you can wind it up that way to charge it uh oh this is cool uh, i never used this i actually used both of these on a camping trip this past summer so um uh, they, they work pretty well uh of the short time that i used them I was only camping for a cup just over the weekend. Uh, this has a hook so you can hang it up inside your tent or cabin or what have you. Um, obviously, like Goal Zero products, they are made to be rechargeable. And they have a little USB port so you can charge your cell phone, tablet, GoPro, whatever you have. Um, the way this works is there's two modes. You have, let's see if I can get it in here. You have the full lantern and you have half a lantern. So let's put it off to the side. This is the half lantern. Oop. Okay. Uh, as you can see, one, one side lights up. And this is the uh, two, the full lantern. This thing does get pretty bright. Um, here's how you charge it up. It comes with its own cable, so you don't have to... Uh, dig around and lose any kind of extra cables uh, Goal Zero was pretty smart on that idea um, they could have made the cable a little bit longer but I digress um, obviously there's two modes this is for the emergency light yeah um, little spaceship looking thing Goal Zero if you're watching this if you do come up with a new model, ditch this. It's a, it's a joke. I mean, if you had like an actual strobe that actually flashed out on either side, that then, yeah, that would be something. But these are little LEDs. Um, I had that up on the campsite, and uh, somebody was like uh, going, what's that red hue? They couldn't see what it was until they were right on top of it going, what the hell is that for? Well, there you go. As you can see, you can stand it up uh, off the ground, and that's about this. That's about that. Let me read you off some of the tech specs here. Let me get my notes. Uh, let's see. If you have uh, it on both sides, on low power, it will last 24 hours. Um, high power, 6 hours. And if you have it all the way bright, bright, the brightest it can get, which I ain't going to do that, it'll burn out my camera, uh, 2.5 hours, or 2.5 hours. The single side, the lowest setting, will last you 48 hours. That's on the battery. It's a lith Like I said, it's a lithium-ion battery. 48 hours on the single side, on the lowest setting. High power, 12 hours. And turbo, 5 hours. The battery is a 16.3 watt, uh, 3.7 volt, 4400 milliamps an hour. Um, it's a lithium ion. It can last for hundreds of cycles, and it does not have to be totally dead before you start recharging it. Uh, the shelf life on the battery, um, keep it plugged in or you charge it up every three to six months. It's recommended every three months. Um, no fuse, um, let's see, uh, the LEDs are two, there's one on each side, each side has a three watt, uh, Cree LED at 250 lumens each, the hand crank, which is this right here, uh, provides 2.2 watts, that's if you're cranking at 120 rotations per minute, one minute of crank time equals 10 minutes of light. I always had this thing fully charged when I had it out anyway. So um, the USB port is a 5-volt 
up to 1.5 amp. So keep that in mind. That's the output. Um, the import input, which is this thing, uh, up to 1 amp. You can't chain the daisy chain them for more than one light. Uh, weighs uh, 1.1 pounds or 498 grams and six month warranty. Uh, oh, operating temperature uh, 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 to 40 degrees centigrade. Let me pull out my notes because I actually charge my phone with this and I can't remember if it was this model or the model before that uh, I kind of did Eton's charging review on a full full charge on the lighthouse uh, my cell phone had a 23 percent battery left and on the full chart and it when it was fully charged there were two lights left you can see the four leds on there um, i will assume it was on a half charge on this and then i charged it again this time the cell phone was at 30 percent uh, battery left and by the time this is fully dead, the cell phone was at 84% charged. Uh, I tried three different modes of, or actually two, two different modes of charging it. One was this. I hooked it up to my computer, let that charge overnight uh, or until it was fully charged. I drained the battery fully, fully dead. That means it wouldn't light up at all. These LEDs wouldn't pop on at all. And the notes, how long it takes to charge. Give me a second. Okay, charge time. Uh, uh, okay, USB source. To charge this through the internal, uh, or charging it through, like, say, a wall outlet will take seven hours. I then used my Nomad 7 and it took, uh, this was on August, or yeah, excuse me, August 3rd and it was, oh, excuse me, August 31st. Um, I charged around August 31st and it took a good eight hours to fully charge and uh, with the Nomad 7 it says 7 to 14 hours. The weather it was not full full direct sun um, there was a little little clouds here and there so that could be why it took over eight hours. So um, on the camping trip I went on I mostly used this because in the cabin we were in we put it on the lowest setting this is the lowest setting um, it's probably over blaring the camera, but it, the ca the cabin we were in was a 20 by 20 and this little bit in pitch blackness, just so that people can see what they were doing. It was very adequate. Um, once your eyes get used to the, uh, the darkness, um, the MSRP on the lighthouse is $69.99 obviously you can probably find it cheaper with that said let's move on to this torch 250 uh, obviously it has a solar panel up here it has a crank and uh, this is the output USB so you can charge your devices and it has also a built-in uh, USB cable so you can charge it via a wall outlet um, or any Goal Zero uh, products. It does recommend where's my notes? Uh, minimum it doesn't say but I think the Nomad 7, which is the uh, solar panel I have, is the minimum. Uh, also, it has uh, hooks. If you put them together, it's a little pain in the butt if you don't have any fingernails. Uh, you can have it like this as a hook. 
pull both of them out, it has an actual full ring, if you will. Uh, hand crank. There you go. Obviously built in solar panel. And it has like a floodlight, spotlight, and these are red LEDs. So let's see. Here's the spot. Here's low. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's low. Oh, that was high. That was low. That's off. Uh, floodlight. Oops. Floodlight. There we go. That's high. That's low and off. Uh, the red lights. So you can protect your night vision if you're walking at night. Well, flash and off. Simple as can be. Plug in your uh, cable. You can charge cell phones, GoPros, and what have you. Let's get to my the literature on this. Charging the Torch 250. Uh, oh, run times. Let's do run times first. The spotlight on low power will last 15 hours. On high power, only 7 hours. Floodlight, 48 hours. And uh, that uh, floodlight on low power will last you 48 hours. Floodlight on high power, 22 hours. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Charge times. If you use the Nomad 7, which I have, it will take 7 to 14 hours. If you use the built-in solar panel, 23 to 46 hours in full sun yeah USB source seven hours seven hours that is correct the uh, I tried charging this and on a totally dead battery um, all lights I mean nothing was on here on a totally dead battery sitting this out by itself eight hours only got me uh maybe two if that maybe maybe one i can't remember i should have wrote that down so i totally discharge it again use my nomad 7 and in identical conditions on the lighthouse the battery was fully charged in about eight and a half hours so they were correct on that uh the battery is a lithium ion Cell capacity, 16.3 watt hours, 3.7 volts, 4,400 milliamps. So it's got a pretty hefty sized battery. Um, because it's lithium, lithium, lithium ion, you can charge it, uh, well, it's uh, like say a half charge, and it won't damage it. Instead of, you have to totally dis, uh, d uh, discharge the battery before you can start recharging it. The lights on this uh, there's it doesn't say the LED output 250 lumens I'm probably they're probably talking about the uh, spotlight and 4000 Kelvin warm white LEDs it's probably talking about this oh no that's this part oh no no it, here we go sorry uh, the war, warm white LEDs are probably this the spotlight has 180 lumens this is LED the floodlight yeah that yeah the floodlight is 70 lumens uh, the hand crank 2.2 watts if you're cranking at 120 rotations per minute one minute of crank equals to two minutes of light uh, USB port here we go uh, 5 volt up to 1 amp that's the uh, output and the input, 5 volt, one amp, up to 1 amp. So that is about it. Let me get to how I charged my cell phone. Same method as always. Uh, let's see, I started out with 10% of battery and uh, on the left on this, and it was uh, on a full charge that, that first night. And the second night, it was at a 31% battery life left. And when I charged it, when this was totally dead, this was at almost a full charge. This was all done without my docking cradle. My docking cradle on this, it's an old Casio Commando. Um, I forget the model. I think it's 
870. Don't quote me on that, but anyways, um, the docking cradle uses less power when it's charging. So, uh, the, yeah, so that's about it. Oh, MSRP, $79.99, almost 80 bucks. So, like I said, you can almost find that, getting that cheaper elsewhere if you so desire. Now then, I want your guys' opinion. If you had the money, or if you had the room to take this as a extra light source, the battery, or the solar panel to recharge this is a joke. You need an external solar panel to charge it, or another method to charge it. Um... Yeah, uh, your guys' opinion uh, for, like, say, a bug out bag or a get home get home bag. For camping, I tried standing this up upright, and because it's angled, let me try and yeah, here's almost flat. It's actually pointing down instead of flat. Um, you really couldn't do much, and you ha almost have to hang it from something. But the cabin I'm in, the rafters were up too high, and um, there's really no, because we didn't own the building, or own the cabin, um, we couldn't put in hooks or anything like that to, in the wood to run a string line to um, hang this so we could use it like that. So it was basically a way to charge my cell phone and so forth. So this actually came in handy. Uh, I was on Goal Zero's website, and they have uh, different models. They have, I think there's a Lighthouse 400 and a Mini Lighthouse. It doesn't have the crank. Uh, the Mini does not have the crank. The 400 does. And one thing I wish they would have is maybe a solar panel. Like move this elsewhere, like maybe say down here and just line it up that way or, or something and have a uh, solar panel up here get rid of this emergency light because as you can see it's a joke if it's sitting like this you can't see it unless it's flashing at you like that so goal zero that emergency light is a joke um, either have some more uh, higher intensity LEDs for the uh, the flasher uh, then keep it but other than that guys come on seriously but uh, yeah that one for the you know I, I use my credit card points to buy these and or to get these and so it didn't cost me anything so I want your guys opinion what do you guys think all right so that's the review on the Lighthouse 250 and the Torch 250. Uh, hopefully I'll have some other goodies to show you real soon. Have a good one.